Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner, and today I thought I would go over how to use your instant powdered milks. So I'm going to run through just how to whip up a couple of different things with this that are usually used in the kitchen all the time. So a lot of people have never used powdered milk before or haven't had it since they were a child. Their parents may have used it, but having it in your food storage, sometimes it's definitely you're looking at it and thinking, what the heck am I going to do with this? It is not the most flavorful to drink, but it's not horrible. If you use it right, it's really not all that bad. So most of the time, what I use my instant milk for and my powdered milk is for cooking so I use it frequently for cooking I find that it's I have it on hand you can really stretch this stuff out when you're using it for cooking I use a little bit more if we're going to drink it but we don't drink it all that much we usually buy our milk but if we didn't have it fresh we could definitely use this for our milk so a lot of the bags are going to have instructions on the back how to prepare a cup, how to prepare a quart. So if you have it in a bag, that's great. But if you don't, um, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. A lot of people will put it in a Mylar bag to store it. And if you throw away the instructions, then you don't have it. So what I do with my milk is I have a little cheat sheet. And if I'm drinking the milk, if it's going to go in the fridge to drink, we're going to prepare it according to the instructions on the box, on the packaging. But when I'm cooking with it, I make it a little bit thinner. It works beautifully and I have a little cheat sheet and I will put that up on the screen so you can see it. But I don't use as much of the powdered milk because it stretches it out a little bit more. It saves me and it still works beautifully in cooking this way. So I will show you how Okay, I for just a regular old milk to cook with, I just make it. I'm going to use a blender, and this is really simple and easy to do. If you have instant milk, it is going to dissolve a lot better in your water. It's easier in cold water. But if you have just regular non-fat dried milk powder, and it's not instant, that's a little bit more difficult to mix into cold water. So I, as a habit, I always use hot water. So I have one cup here. So if your recipe calls for one cup of milk, um, you're going to use one cup of water. And I use one cup of hot water. And I'm just going to pour that into my blender. And then I'm going to add three tablespoons of milk. And we're just going to put that right into the blender. And put this back together. And we're just going to blend this real quick until it's all mixed together. You just want to make sure all the powder is mixed in with this. It's really simple and easy to do. And that is about it. Uh, I'm using instant milk because that's what I have open from my food storage right now. So that is all I'm going to do. Oh, it doesn't want to stand up. The pod's the devil. So then I'm just going to take a clean glass bottle. I'm going to add a funnel to the top of this. And I am going to pour my milk right in there. It's a little frothy, and that's okay. So now I'm going to throw this in the refrigerator and it will be ready to use. In about an hour or two, I usually put it in, if I know I'm going to be cooking the next day and I'm going to be using some instant milk or powdered milk, 
I make, I usually make the stuff the night before. I'll go over recipes, like with the holidays coming up, the night before I'm going to do a lot of cooking. I will go through all my recipes and make sure I have all the ingredients because I want to make sure I have it to make everything. And if I don't have fresh milk, I can make up milk. If I don't have condensed milk, I can make that. Whatever kind of milk that I need. So this is just your milk for cooking. I'm going to toss this in the fridge. And this will be ready to use in about two hours. Okay, for sweetened condensed milk, this is something that we use a lot in fudges and things like that, sweet dishes, all kinds of stuff. Sweetened condensed milk is pretty common for people to use in their kitchen and again it's really easy to make with your powdered milk so I'm just gonna take a half a cup of hot water and I'm gonna put that in my blender I'm gonna add one cup of my powdered milk and we're gonna pour that in this is gonna be thick like the sweet and condensed milk that you buy in the store so and then one cup of sugar and we're gonna add that right into our blender and this is a lot of stuff so it makes it nice and thick and the one other thing that I add is I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of warm like softened butter at room temperature we're gonna put that right in there too then we're just gonna mix it up throw it all in our blender and let her rip Now the hot water in this one really helps dissolve the sugar as well. So I definitely recommend hot water, even if you normally use cold water, just for the sweetened condensed milk, especially because that sugar, you need to get it melted. But anything that's not melted, we're gonna let this sit again for a few hours in the refrigerator and let it get all ready. And you can see this is nice and thick pour this into our container I've got and you definitely if you're making up a bunch of different milk products label your jars for sure this is nice and thick and you've got that sweet and condensed consistency and this will make a 14 ounce can as you can see this would be 16 ounces and that is about 14 so, and most recipes call for a 14 ounce can. So there you have it. You've got your sweet and condensed milk. We're just gonna cap this and pop it in the fridge and it will be ready to go in a couple of hours. Another really common ingredient when you're cooking is evaporated milk. And again, this is super simple. So I just use a cup and a half of a hot water and I'm gonna pour that into my blender and then I'm going to use a half a cup of my powdered milk. And we're going to put that right in there. And then we're just going to mix it up just like the other ones. All right, so once we have it all mixed up, we're going to put it in a jar and put it in the refrigerator just like the other milk. We just want it to sit for a couple hours so it's everything can come together and it can get nice and cool and it's just like using your regular old stuff. There we have it. And we have our evaporated milk. Put a cover on it and off to the fridge it goes. Okay, so the last one I'm going to do today is buttermilk or sour milk. A lot of recipes call for that also. And again, this is super easy to do. We're just gonna use one cup of water, hot water. I always use hot water, just have it, because if it's not instant, it really is a lot harder to get it to melt down in. And then we're gonna use a quarter cup of our powdered milk. 
the instant, I don't know if you can see this on here, but it is super fine powder. And the other one is just a little more chunky. That's all. So it, it needs that hot water, definitely. But I just use hot water all the time because that way I don't forget <laughs> which one I'm doing. And then you can use either or. You want to use a tablespoon of either lemon juice or distilled white vinegar. Whichever one you have will definitely work. Today, I'm going to use some lemon juice because I need to get this baby used up. I have plenty of lemon juice in the house. But I have used white vinegar before and it works perfectly. So just one tablespoon of either one. And again, we're going to mix it up. Get on there. And that is it. Again, we're going to put this in a jar and we're going to toss it in the fridge for a couple of hours just so it has some time to cool down and all come together. Just pour it right in there. And I, again, if I have a bunch of this stuff going in the fridge, I try to put it in different jars and you definitely want to label it so you don't use the wrong one because the sour milk has its place and so does the regular milk. So definitely make sure you get these labeled up. And this is ready to hit the fridge. So that is it for today. Using your instant and your powdered milk is really super easy to do. And these are just four different ways that you can use it. And they're pretty common, commonly used in the kitchen. So I thought I would show those ones, but there are tons and tons of ways to use your powdered milk. So use it up. It's great, excellent for cooking. And you cannot tell the difference if it's fresh or powdered or instant or anything. They are perfect for cooking. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.